Hello fellas and lady fellas, Nerd Online here bringing you a video. So today I'm going to be bringing you another uh, Dungeons and Dragons character creation video. I also just want to quickly explain, uh, my uh, laptop's been broken for a bit again, it wouldn't charge, so sorry about the whole uh, it's not working kind of deal, uh, sorry for having no videos out, but anywho, time to get on with the video. So all I have so far is a name, Casper Raymond. I don't know what I'm gonna do, gonna do with it. Uh, I haven't put much plan into this. I'm just gonna look, see if I can find anything that interests me. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look uh, through the classes to see if there's any I don't play much. Uh, oh, cleric. That could be interesting. Okay, so cleric. And like in all of these videos, we'll start off at level 1. So, race. Oh, actually, no. Um, someone can give me an idea for when I am making this a... Uh, uh, when I'm printing this out so I can make changes like I need to. I'm just putting uh, one there so I can... Uh, like an I so I can tally it instead. Makes more sense. Uh, it was actually a good idea. Race. Uh, what race should I go for? Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Uh, half elf? Nah. So so far in these videos, I've done dwarf and uh, halfling. I don't want to do those again, so I'll just cross those off. So I've got elf, human, dragonborn, gnome, half elf, half orc, and tiefling. I think I'm going to go human. I don't go human often, but they can be interesting. So, uh... Now the first thing I like to do is pick backgrounds. So, I'm just going to have a quick look at the backgrounds. Uh, I'll pause the recording here and I'll be back when I've chosen one. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, the one I've chosen is uh, Charlatan. Damn it, book closed. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get it back. Is it back? It's back. There we go. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to put in my skill proficiency so I get. Uh. Deception. And. Slight of hand, both very interesting, I, I find. Okay. What else am I going to do? Okay, alignment, I also just want to put that in quick. I'm going to go, um... No, clerics, I normally play, play them uh, lawful good. Or at least one of the, uh good alignment, but I think here I'm going to go chaotic neutral, like maybe he's trying to be good, but he's kind of failing because of his uh, Charlton background, he's going to be like a complete scumble, scumbag, so, uh, speed 30, okay, uh, so, yeah, so I plug them in, okay, now I'm going to go uh, away from the background for a bit, and I'm going to go to the, to the human page of the book. Look at uh, what stuff I get as a human. So I get a... I can either be variant human. Or regular human. I think I'm going to go variant. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so first up, I'm going to put languages. Uh, I'm going to take common, which uh, I kind of have to. Common. And what kind of a. Uh, what language would you find? Hmm. I'm going to say dwarvish. No, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah, dwarf. 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 
if it's someone like yeah. I'm sure dwarf, I like dwarf, whatever. Okay, so I'm putting my stats together because I I think I'm gonna go with Varian. So I'm gonna take uh So I get a plus one to two of my stats. What I think I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a plus one in wisdom and plus one in my charisma. Uh so I'm gonna go put my 15 here, making that a 16. Put my 13 there, making that a 14. I'm going to put my 14 in my intelligence. Uh, I'm going to put my 12 in my con. My 10 in my dex. And my 8 in my strength. He's not a very uh, strong fellow. Um... Okay, so plus, so that's a plus two, sorry, uh, this is a plus three, right, so a plus one, this is a plus two, a plus one, uh, zero, and then minus one. My critical bonus, as it is at all levels, is plus two, sorry, uh, for all first level characters, it's a plus two. My dexterity, so that's just a zero. Uh, okay, another thing I get from being a variant human is I get one feet of my choice. Uh, and one skill of my choice. So I'm going to go for skills, but I'm going to go for persuasion. No, uh, no, insight, because I think this is the kind of guy that's really good at reading people and, like, the, just all of their little mannerisms and uh, just anything about them. So, I'm going to take a quick look through all the feats. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording again. I'm going to take a quick look through the feats, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've decided what I'm going to go for, and I decided I'm going to go with Linguist. What that does, that, in uh, some, that increases my intelligence score by 1, making that a 15. Not bad, I do believe. I'm going to put my... Uh, so, Linguist, it gives me the ability to create written ciphers. Uh, yeah, with... I'll just... Uh, And I'll put in brackets down here. DC, and then it is. Uh, intelligence plus proficiency. So that is not the highest. It's uh, DC 4. Yeah, easy enough to decipher board over. It also means I get three extra languages. So what I'm going to go for is I'm going to look at all of the languages, just uh, real quick like. Uh, languages, languages. They're back. Yeah, I can see them, I can see them, I can see the languages. So go one more page to turn. And I'm going to go for I think I'm going to go Undercommon It kind of fits this guy's like shady past I don't know It's kind of cool I think uh, I'm going to go for Hmm Uh, okay, let me think about this guy's like backstory. What we have grown up with. I feel like uh, maybe goblins. Like if he's making like shady deals, like just with monsters and crooks and stuff. 
uh, just like talking to people, and then because he's conning people off to also, I think he will have like a, a an impressive sounding language, so maybe Elvish, just because that sounds impressive. Did I take? Yeah, I took. Uh, so I'm gonna go now to cleric, and I'm not gonna know what I've put. So let's just let me find cleric. It's past bard. Okay, I'm on cleric. So what I get as a cleric is uh, wisdom and charisma. My uh, two of my high stats. So that becomes a plus five. This becomes a plus four, not bad going. This is a plus two. Uh, that's a plus one, I believe. Yep. Plus that's right, zero, and then minus one. My hit die is 1d8 Plus your con modifier. And at uh, first I'll be take the max. One, so 1d8 plus 2. So that is a 10 maximum hit points, which isn't that going, to be honest. I'm just going to throw that. Oh no, sorry, it's a 9. Again, not that going, especially if he uh, stays back and talks people out of the combat as well. So I'm gonna go with spell cat. So uh, no, sorry. I also get. Let me just plug in my proficiencies. I get light slash medium armor and shields, which is pretty cool. I get. Uh, no tools. I get simple weapons. Uh, pretty good going, I guess. Uh, what else do I get? Okay, so for uh, this, I it says that I can only have a mace uh, or a warhammer. But the only way you can get a warhammer is if you're a dwarf, because a warhammer not a simple weapon. So I'm not taking a mace because I don't like the idea. I don't want a mace. Uh, so I, this is a humble rule. Uh, you have to ask your DM about it. But I think the cleric should be able to get any simple weapon to start off with. They don't. Otherwise, they're not really good uh, combat-wise. Um, I'm going to take, uh, mm -hmm. what suits this guy? I'm going to quarter staff. Yeah, I like that. So the way I put quarter staffs in is one out of four staff because quarter staff doesn't fit. So I get a, and then it is, yeah, um, I, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, uh, so eight, I'm going to switch these around, just so I'm, uh, yeah, just sound a bit more likely to hit because but I don't feel like I'm gonna be aiming for that much damage anyway. No, I'll just put one hand because it's versatile. Four staff. Two hands. So this is also plus two because it's my first and bonus plus my strength modifier, which is zero. Uh so it is 1d6 plus 0 bludgeoning damage. Then here is 1d8 plus 0 bludgeoning damage. I'm going to take... 
uh, so now for my other gear, I'm gonna take uh, scale scale mail leather armor. Uh, I can't take chainmail because I'm not proficient in it. So I'm gonna take scale mail. Yeah, scale mail. I like that armor. It's pretty cool. Uh, just let me find it. Okay, so scale mail is fourteen plus my dex modifier, the max of two. Uh, scale mail. So. 14 plus my dex modifier. You see, that's why I wanted the higher dex. So that'll be a 13. That ain't great. Might swap around my coin. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, you see, this is the problem with having high intelligence, but I want to be a smart guy. You know what? I'm gonna do it. No, because I can't. Um, I can't risk the minus one to hit points, unfortunately. I'll just take the 13 armor class, I guess. Uh, luckily, clerics get shields to bump it up, so. Uh, yeah, I also get a light crossbow or any simple weapon. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a light crossbow just so I can have, do some range. Light. Uh, no, you see, this is why I need that. This is why I need the. Uh, this is why I need the um, dexterity, so that'll only be a plus one, and then on the eight minus one piercing damage. So I'm kind of likely to hit, but not really. Like I've got a like um, an eleven in twenty chance of hitting. I guess isn't bad, but it's pretty bad. Um, Wait, no, I, that's not the chance, it's just based on armor class. So, and, uh, I guess, um, armor classes are usually quite high, so I'm unlikely to hit. I'll tell you that much. Uh, just think I won't do many attacks, I guess. But, so I get scale mail. Whatever. Um... I'll take a priest's pack because he's seeking redemption. He's becoming a priest, you know. He's he wants to redeem himself. He wants to be a good guy again, but he keeps going back to his roots, being a charlatan and a chaos guy, like a smuggler and smooth talker. He's all around a pretty sick guy. Okay, so I'll choose his proficiencies. So his skill proficiency, sorry. So he takes two from history. Okay, what have I got? Okay, I've got deception, insight, and side fan. I'm gonna like, uh, because I get two. I've already got, uh, hmm. I want to take religion and medicine. Like, these are more his, uh, his studies, like what he's been taught at the church. Um, yeah, I'll take them. Like, uh, when he saw his redemption after his, uh, after, like, I don't know what happened to him, uh, I'll just make some of fly. He, um, he scammed a high up person. I'll put that in his flaws. Uh, scammed a powerful man.
No, he scammed a good. He scammed a poor person. Ah. He was. Ah, got it. I uh, don't burn um, floors because it's not really a floor. I'll put it in his backstory. It's the backstory, yeah. Okay, so what I've decided he was very much a smooth talking guy. No, sorry, uh, so this is going to be a quick bullet point. Um, injured. After scamming a mobster, the reason he has such low decks, decks, he has a bum knee, uh, beaten with a hmm. Mace? Nah. Uh, I'll just say beaten with a club. Yeah. To so to uh yeah, beaten with a club by mobsters mob. Cool. Uh so the light. Okay, I've made a pantheon for my world because it's all going to be set in my world. But uh, if you're going to be playing this character, you'll have to ask him if there's a redemption god in your world because in mine there is, uh, in yours there may not be. So I'm going to go with a redemption god. If not, you could go with a generic light god. But because uh, I feel like this is it's good, I want to go light. Um, so let me just look if I've got it on my minor gods page. I've got a lot of mage, of mage gods. Uh, Miner, is this miner? Uh, where is miner? Ah, uh, here they are. God of Redemption. I don't have a God of Redemption. Ah, uh, just make of uh, Ichmir. I like that name. Of Ichmir. The Redemption God. No, nope, God, lowercase, because it's multiple. So, uh, he has to... Uh, gave up his... Uh, scamming and conning. Conning. But, uh... He's still... Tempted and often uses it to promote the light and uh, help others instead of gain. Uh, money for self. Yeah, you guys can see a bit of my writing there, that's not great, but yeah. Um, so he can gain money for himself with that, uh, yeah, I, I like this. This is a cool character. It's not statistically the best character, it's uh, in no way great statistically. Um, let me just, uh, like, uh, priest pack. I'll put that in, yeah. So, so basically, um, he went to the church uh, after he was shown the light. Uh, they taught him about religion and medicine, but he'd already got his slight of hand, his uh, deception, his insight from being a con man on the street for the past, I'll say, four. Like, uh, he was raised up to, like, being uh, six. He was, I'll say, he was raised, like, on the streets by, uh, by like a another charlatan, like a 
Well, not really on the streets, but like uh, he was found on the streets by Charlton. Like he was on the streets until he was about five ish. Uh, then he was like uh, was raised to like number fifteen years by the Charlton. Taught the tricks of the trade. Uh, went off to do his own thing uh, for like the past twenty, thirty years. So I say he's fifty because he's an old dude. Eyes. I oh, won't. Well. Yeah, I'll leave this because um, so he got a that will annoy me. He's got his scale mail. He's got his priest back. He gets a shield. Um, meaning this becomes a fourteen. He gets a holy symbol. I never played a cleric or a paladin before, uh, or an acolyte, so I don't know about the holy symbols. Let me just. Uh, look to see if there's anything in it for me, like anything cool, any benefits. What do holy symbols do? Ah, here they are, they're on here. So, for my holy symbol, hmm. A representation of a god or pantheon. It might be the amulet, pick blood, blood, blah. Okay, so uh, it's essentially my uh, arcane focus, but for a cleric, so my divine focus, I guess it would be. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get. Take the uh, what's the name? Ikme. Uh, the um, so an amulet with a symbol of Ikme engraved in. Uh, I'll say it. Say. Hmm. Redemption, what? Let's scream to redemption to you guys. Oh, 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 oh. No. Uh, I'll look at some other. I'll uh, work this out off camera, so I'll just pause here. Okay, so after checking, uh, doing a quick Google search, I figured I'll just go for a basic redemption symbol. Uh, well, it look, came up when I Google image searched redemption, so, don't know. Uh, free black. I'll see. White, because light. Free white triangles. A three white triangles. No, three white circles. Sorry. Join in a triangle. So that's uh, what his symbol is. Um, what else does he get? He doesn't get anything else from being a cleric, but I know he gets some stuff from his background. What's his background? That round was charlatan. What does he get from being a charlatan? Charlatan. So he gets fine clothes. Cool. Uh, he gets disguise kit. Guys, kit, and then like uh, tools of the con of your choice. Hmm. I'm gonna go for like a set of weighted dice. That's pretty cool. Set of weighted dice. 
and the belt pouch containing 15 gold. Now I'm going to roll for my extra gold in a minute, but I can't bug to yet. So my favorite scam. Oh, favorite scam. That's a cool thing. Where do I put that? So, I'll put uh, a thing some people do. Uh, human. And then Charlton. Sorry about that noise. I don't know what that was. Charlton, I get. Uh, favorite scheme. Which I'm going to say is. Uh, I cheat at games of chance. I'm gonna say that one. That's good. I came up with like a pretty cool motto for this guy just while I was looking at some redemption images, and I I figured uh, hey, hi ho, uh, life is just a roll of the dice. It sounds pretty cool, and he's got the white dice as well, and now uh, like uh, cheats a game of chance, you know, pretty cool, um, okay, I like how that's in the first person as well, it makes me really get into character here, um, I'll just try a voice quickly, don't listen to this next bit, because it's going to be terrible, um, well, hello there, I, uh, so, I'll tell you what, we both roll the dice, I roll this one, you roll that one. And, uh, just for clarification, he takes one with, uh, it's a 20, two 20 sided die. He, um, takes one with the, uh, with the one weighted down, so it always ends on 20. And he takes one with the 20 weighted down, uh, and then he gives the other person the one with the 20 weighted down, so it always ends on one. So he hands that to people and he, uh, says, whoever rolls higher, Gives the other one, uh, say, ten gold, a friendly bet. See, uh, no, sorry. I'll do like a New York. Forget about it. Give me a. So say, uh, you were giving me. It's Italian. So say you giving me ten gold. Uh, yeah. So I roll higher than you. You give me ten gold. You roll higher than me. I give you ten gold. It sound even? Yeah. I'd Forget about it, give me 10 gold when I roll higher than you on this dice roll. Yeah, I'll go with that. Life is just a roll of a dice, my friend. Life is just a roll of a dice. Haha, <laughs> pay up with your 10 gold, my friend. Unfortunately for you, I won. Yeah, it's just luck, I guess. Uh, okay, and then, uh, yep, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'll go with that voice, whatever. Okay, so, uh, and look, what else does he get from being a uh, Sultan? He gets, uh, false identity. Uh, no. False identity. Which allows me... Oh, cool. So, I have... Uh, an established... Fake identity. Pretty handy if I have to like get away from anyone or whatever. Uh, I'll name that later and come up with some stuff for that. Uh, okay. So next thing I want to do, just before I go back onto the cleric stuff, uh, I'll pause the video. I'll put in my personality traits, my ideals, my bonds, my flaws, uh, and then I'll fill in all of the uh, my skills as well, just sort of numbers because I can get laborious at times. So. Yeah, of course. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've just been looking at some stuff, and I've decided I'm going to fill in these on camera. So, first thing I looked at was ideals for some reason, don't ask why. Uh, I'm going to put in charity for this. Uh, basically, take from the rich. Take from the rich. 
give to the poor. Okay, so first personality traits, I'm going to give him uh, just a few notes about his character that I want to give him. Uh, just, uh, hmm. I'll say, uh, it's very flirtatious uh, at times. At least he can be. Flirtatious. Uh, Kind of funny from time to time. Uh, flirtatious, funny, kind of sleazy as well. Um, fit flaws. Just go down for uh, past haunts him. Done some bad stuff. So, uh, I'll just take a look at uh, some personal traits and stuff they recommend. Sarcasm and insults. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one for the personal traits. Sarcasm and insults are my weapons of choice. When that, they're, they're pretty cool, you know. Alright, if I was bored, I could take vicious. If I was a bard, I could take vicious mockery with that. So bonds is all I have left. Uh. I think this is where I'll put my uh, sort of background out for the. So he, he's bonds like a. Uh, one. To redeem. So. Uh, took a beating. Got saved. Now follow select. That any good? Let me be. Huh. No, I just dig up these comms, uh that do anything. Yeah, cool, perfect. Okay, so, um, I'm back for a minute, I'll just, uh, pause and then do what I said with the... Okay, so I'm back, I'm just going to fill in my passive wisdom here, which is a 13. Not bad going altogether, he's a... If you look at his skills, he's pretty good, except for the, uh, the one strength one and all of the, uh, dexterity ones, they're all... Pretty crappy. Even in sleight of hand, even though he's pushing in it, it's not great going. Um, okay. I think now what I need to do is I need to fill in his cleric stuff. Uh, so cleric. Then I can. Flip over to the cleric page. Uh, cleric, cleric, cleric. No, just behind here. Is this right? I believe it is. Yes. Okay, so I get spellcasting and my divine domain. I'll go with my divine domain first because uh, looks easier. Um. Okay, so I got some domain spells. Uh, okay, so um, I choose domain, divine domain, light. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, so choose light. Choice grants you domain spells and other features when you choose it at first level. Okay, so I, it basically just gives me extra spells at first level. Do you anything else? No, it does not. Uh, so I'll just put in my extra spells. I don't know how many spells I've put left yet, but. Uh, Okay, as far as I know, clerics get every spell uh, given to them at first level. So they're all, but I just have to. I have a certain number I can prepare. I think uh, clerics table. Should, okay, so how many? Uh, in the table is how many spell slots I have. So at first level, I know three cantrips, and I have two first level spell slots. Okay, so I get um hmm do 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 Okay, I'll just fill in all of this quickly while I'm having a look at the stuff. Wisdom my spell save DC. 8 plus my freezing bonus, so that's a 13. My spell attack bonus that is plus 5. And then here's a cleric. So the two extra spells I get are. Uh, I get. Uh, let me look at the light domain. What do I get from the light domain? Okay, cool. So I get a. Um, so I get some pretty cool stuff at first level from being a uh, light. So I get an extra cantrip, light, which isn't bad going. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a good cantrip. I don't know. Um, okay, so I also get warding flare. I'll put that down here. Flare. What's that do? Warding Flare. Also, at first level, you can interpose divine light between yourself and an attacking enemy. When you're attacked by a creature within 30 feet of you that you can see, you can use, use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll, um, causing lights to flare before the attacker, before it hits or misses. Okay. So, um... I guess that is flare light into eyes of enemy to impose disadvantage. Oh, I also just want to put in here I get disadvantage to impose disadvantage against. No, sorry, just to impose disadvantage in general. Um. And then I get this ability. How many times per long rest? It is my wisdom modifier, I think. Yes, yeah, so it is free per. Is that long or short rest? Oh, either. Okay, long rest. Pretty good. So, where uh, do we get that spell first level? No, I do not. So, I get, uh, for my cleric spells, so for my uh, domain spells, I get two first level spells. I get... Uh, what do I get? Burning hands. Burning hands. Fairy fire. I'll have to look at what they do. I'm not sure yet. Never used them. I don't play as spellcasters much, let alone clerics. Uh, so, how many cantrips do I get at first level? Because I'm going to move on to my spellcasting now. 
We get three cantrips. I knew that. Uh, let me just look. So I can only know three cantrips, but I have all cleric spells prepared. Got it. I'm going to take guidance because that's pretty good. I'm going to take bless. I'm going to take uh, spare the dying. I'm oh, sorry for that. One place. Spare the dying. Good to have. Certainly good to have. Okay. So, spell ni So, now for my first level spells. How many do I get to prepare my uh, my wisdom? My wisdom modifier plus my cleric level, so that is four. So I get to prepare four first level cleric spells. I'm going to take Healing Bolt. I'm going to take Inflict Whoop. No. Nah. I'll put Guiding Bolt. I'll put so I get two more. I've got Shield of Faith because that's always a good spell. Shield of Faith. And now I get one more spell for first level. I'm going to take. I oh, know Bless isn't a cantrip. Ah, uh, no. So I get another cantrip. Should I put black? No, I'm not gonna. Should I put. No, I'm gonna put command. I like that. Command. Sam fits in with his background. He's not really gonna command, he's more gonna trick. Yeah. Resistance. That's a pretty good cantrip. Okay, so let me just. Uh, Pause here and I'll look at what my damaging spells do because I'll put them in my attack section. Okay, so um, I thought Fairy Fire did damage as well, but I was mistaken. So um, what I found out was Burning Hands, they have to make a deck save on a success. Oh no, wrong way around. Yeah, if they fail to save, they take 3d6 damage. If they succeed, they take 3d6 side by 2. And going mode is 46. Bye.